I tell myself I'd rather be alone than settle. And I'm a little worried the universe is like, okay, bet. Yep. We can make that happen for you. Deal. Enjoy raising kids alone. Stop saying stuff like Enjoy that. the rest of your life by yourself. <laughs> your idea. Yep. Simply put, if a man tells me that he hates women, I know that he's dangerous. If a woman tells me that she hates men, I know it's just because she's been emotionally done wrong. Right. So no, I don't care if a woman says, I hate men. In fact, I encourage her, you should hate men. Right. Okay? But if a man hates women, it's usually because they're dangerous. At this point, give me the bear. Give me the shark. Give me the crocodile. Anyone but women like this. Goodbye. Okay, I have a genuine question for dudes. What's that? So, I was talking to my therapist about dating, which sucks, I think, for everyone. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to do it anymore. And so I told her I have the they unrealistic don't. expectation that somebody's just going to walk into my life and it will make sense. Like, not that my life will make sense, but like, I'll like that type of thing. And I won't have to go through this dating mess because it's not for me. So a fair And time. she said in our day and age that men don't approach women, that we have made it too hard and uncomfortable for them. So they no longer approach women. Is that true? Like, I feel like I still get approached sometimes, but oh, like, yeah. <laughs> is it really just that we're forced to date online? Dang. Question for men. You gotta do it yourself. If you're not a man. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Okay. So I just got groceries. Well, I'm a DoorDash driver. Uh, women stop and listen to this as well, because you can learn some lessons. So <laughs> I'm pushing my cart back like down the mile to the cart thing mm -hmm. and four or five i think five grown men walk by me grown men going into the store Shame. and not one of them stops to say can i take that for you why would they <laughs> you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about right i now? listen i'm trying to not be entitled you know what i mean but like, you are being that way whatever i'm i can put my cart back but you're they meaning to tell me not one of you five men, not only did you not need a cart, but you didn't think for one second. I'm not telling you. Let me take this car back for this girl. I'm showing you. <laughs> nope, not at all. Chivalry is dead. Dead <laughs> for you. I didn't put my car back, but it's the principle. It's the principle. Girl, don't nobody worry, work off of, and care nothing about your principles. Get out of my face. <laughs> it's the principle. Man. Y'all get on this app and say anything. Go deliver your order, please. Lord. And I'm, I'm not late. condoning his <laughs> comment. <laughs> but what I will say is like, it is really interesting, men and women. If you ask a person when they start right. talking about their standards and, and this and this and that. Ask them to show you a picture they ex. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, show me, show me, show me a few pictures mm -hmm. of, of a few men that you've dated in the past. Baby daddy don't meet your standards. You in the past. Let me, let me see. Why do I gotta meet him? Because that will that that will bring some things into perspective real quick. It really needs to. <laughs> they warned me that dating as a single mom was gonna be hard. Uh oh. But they didn't warn me that you know three months in, mm -hmm. you know the guy that you're seeing is gonna be like, I don't want to raise kids again. I've been there, done that. No. What? Thanks. Bye. Next. Yeah. When a man invests in a he woman, he said that to you. It's it's serious. More more serious to him. What makes a woman an investment? What makes a woman an investment? Yes, what, what do you mean? Uh, what, oh, you said what when a man mean? invests in a woman, when you an investment is something that you put something in to a get trip, a return. I think a trip is an investment. But, I think but, I think flowers is an investment. I think all but of what that. Ma the, what makes you worthy of it? How are you different? How are you unique? Girl, you know what he's saying. Recording is an investment. A, a, a dinner at a five-star restaurant can be an investment to right. a man. But, but this but is my thing you get a return for a man. Right? An investment you yeah. get a return. So is the is that the return on the investment? Well, what's the return? Because that's the same. Literally same is that, that the, like, if I invest my return? money in you, then you invest in the, like, is that is that the fair exchange? But like be off the rip or eventually. No, you, you said, eventually. Oh, let me cook, bro. You yeah, said, you, cook. you said, you said, 
that the trip or the the purges or the money or whatever mm-hmm. that he does, this is an investment because a woman is an investment. So an investment, if you know the definition of investment, which you're mm-hmm. a bright woman. Thank you. When you invest something, you have a return. Mm-hmm. What is my return? Like, what am I getting for is spending what, my money on you? How the my fuck money. Am I, that, what do you want as an investment? Are you doing uh, it? Nine times out of ten, if a man money. is doing it to get some pussy. Hey, you're fake. Nobody's that special, but right? So you don't know your value. as a woman or as whatever. And this is why we have the question. <laughs> What do you bring to the table? Because you're not just going to walk up in here, take my money and be like, whoa, you just get to enjoy me. Why would you just be giving it out? They do it, though. Oh, she says, a woman, why would you just be giving a cool? You want it to be an investment. You want him to invest in your re- dirt ball low. I'm, I'm, the price of I'm, Are there any men out there who don't uh, inherently hate women? And if so, what is up? What are you doing? What's going on? Asked out a man today. What? It went bad. I can't even believe I'm just saying this right now because literally what? Me ask out a man? Absolutely not. I would never do that. Like, mm-hmm. I've never even felt compelled, guys. I've never gone out of my way to talk, speak to anyone. Hey, I went to the Met Museum with my family. All the of a man sudden, is supposed to do it for you. This guy. <laughs> guys, this man was literally my type. Tall, handsome, wearing a suit. So obviously, I'm like, I looked at him and guys, like we made eye contact. So I was like, I got nervous. Freaking so now eye contact like, is I keep walking and I look back and I was like, I in this case. Me again. I told my cousins. So his girlfriend's like, yes, go for it. Like, be bold. Like, who cares? Like, you'll never see him again. She just gave me a pep talk. And I was like, what if I like am feeling this way for a literal reason? Like, I'm being drawn. Like, this is the universe telling me, like, I need to shoot my shot with this man. Go ahead. <laughs> Who's literally exactly my type in a museum because I don't want to meet anyone online. I'm just going to go. They all wish me luck. They were all cheering. I see him, so I don't know if I should like introduce myself first. So I just blacked out, but I think I said something like, hi, like I'm P. You have Instagram? I don't even know. This man was just like, like so confused. And then I started laughing at myself. He was like, oh, like, thank you. You're, that's so sweet. Or like, that's so nice, but I'm taken. Y'all, the best part is I then responded. I was like, oh, you know what? It's okay. That just makes my life easier. And then I literally just turned around and walked away. That's what I said. I can't believe I did that, guys. The way I was shaking. I'm Don't worry about like it. I'm like floored at myself. Get out there and do it again. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, but what in the world? <laughs> Babe, tell the internet what you just said. <laughs> tell him. Tell him, Drizzle, Drizzle, what you just said. I was like, I was like man, I, I've done taking you out all night, got you drunk. <laughs> You can't even afford Taco Bell, so I gotta buy it for you. You know, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Soft guy era, man. Step up your game, women. <laughs> I got a woman would pay for Taco Bell for a month. Twenty years. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. You <laughs> stepped up your game. Oh, oh my God. What are you gonna do to keep me? You know. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm hot on the market. I, okay. I pay tabs, and you know. What's a tab? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, Drizzle, you don't know. Because you never pay for it. You don't know what a tab is. POV, you want to send your friend a video of the cute guy next to you. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this was awkward. Girl, get out the gym. If you're talking to multiple girls, it's kind of a red flag. Like, of course. Why does no one want this one? Of course. No one wants this one? Why not? What's wrong? Was there a conversation that I missed? Billy Man is officially dead to me. I'm taking your lack of communication and future planning as disinterest. I'm looking for someone who can confidently express themselves. So it seems like neither of us are getting what we want from the other. It was a pleasure meeting you. Mm-hmm. He takes a whole day to respond, like the entire length of the day. I said to the student, I opened my little eyes at 7 a.m. And he goes, hey, so sorry, not my intention at all. Bless you, Desmond Sam. But I totally understand if that's where you're at. That's it. That's when I lost. Accept it. Accept it. Leave him alone. No means no. He's moved on. You need to do the same. Not anywhere. I'm where you led me. That's exactly where I am. So I said, Nowhere. Voice memo. It's done. Respectfully, it doesn't really matter if you were operating on the president of the United States. If you had time to eat a meal, you would time to just, right. hey, let's hop on a call real quick. Hey, let's FaceTime real quick. If you wanted to. If that's an obligation or something that you didn't want to do then that's where you're at and if that's where you're at that's not really what i'm looking for after getting back from visiting him in la 
felt very disconnected. The communication was like way down. There was no set plans to see each other again. Even like we would set up like little like FaceTime dates during the week. None of that. I know you all said to be chill, but I am myself. So I, w I did wait some days, Sunday to Friday. And then yesterday morning, I just had, I just had to say it was on my mind. May he rest in peace. It was. And this is why men don't approach women. Why aren't you getting some of this wine? Why don't you let me back it up on you? When I tried to come in, you didn't want it. Not only did you not want it, you screamed. Well, it startled me. Exactly what men be telling you. You be talking about stuff that you don't actually want. Get a grip on reality. What is the difference between a woman that wants to be a wife versus a woman that just wants a husband? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I think most of us are bred to just want a husband, bred. whereas to be groomed and trained to be a wife means to understand how to respect masculine energy, how to truly be inside of your feminine, which means trusting the leadership of your partner because feminine chooses certainty. Feminine doesn't choose flow because feminine is flow right feminine energy when we choose to understand that it is our biggest opportunity to seek out the needs of a man without him expressing them i think a beautiful opportunity for us to empower that man and and ride through the storms i feel like we live in a weak generation where things get hard and people immediately are like oh i quit this is too hard and that's like it's never going to hinder you the result you want if you keep quitting it's to be groomed as a wife means it's compassion it's longevity that's where marriage starts when you get married overnight. you say i do it starts whereas other people it's like when you get married i made it now you didn't make it you hate that man you hate that woman you y'all can't stand each other you you don't care enough to not disrespect each other or call each other out of your own name you don't care enough to not want to sleep on opposite sides of the bed when there's a problem you don't care enough to have the hard conversation so that you can move together more powerfully that's that's just to have a husband but when you want to be a wife things are different in my opinion that's very true People who can't communicate think everything is an argument. People who lack accountability think everything is an attack. Why? But, but you guys don't Sis, need men. <laughs> can I share something with you? You don't want your husband telling you anything. Because the reality is you think you know everything. Really not only is. do you think you know everything, you think you're supposed to be the head of the home. That's right. Though that's not a role that you can ever have right. according to God's word. <laughs> so when he, many women make the excuse, well, he just doesn't know how to lead and he doesn't know how to talk to me. And I don't like his tone of voice. No, you don't want him telling you anything, no matter what tone of voice he gives that's you. Right. Because in your mind, you have decided that you get to do what you want, how you want, and when you want it. And your husband just has to put up with it. That's and right. when he tries to tell you anything, you always get offended. You're the first one to get mad, uh -huh. pout, throw temper tantrums. And then you allow your unemotional or your very <laughs> emotional state to cause you to say things that are completely disrespectful mm -hmm. to your husband. You have to get over the idea that you can run that home. You are not the head of that home. Stand down. Remember <laughs> your role in your position and play that one well. Stand Remember down. that today and carry on. You have to tell somebody to stand down. Like we're in the military. Like this is a, 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 a mission. Like you're trying to make somebody surrender. Why would I want to make my wife surrender? Like seriously, come on, dude. <laughs> Emotions can be used as manipulation. He brings up something that he wants to talk about she cries because of what he said and he said it nicely but it's something they need to deal with don't matter and she cries and then he gets terrified and so then he shuts down and so really her crying is a manipulation it's a i don't want to hear anything that mm -hmm. i'm quote doing wrong being a victim is actually a power position because you are making it impossible for anyone to deal with whatever is going on between the two of you and that's why they do it <laughs> oh man listen i'm uh I'm, I'm really glad you came out with me tonight no me too I'm, I'm having such a good time oh well then let's make it a great time okay we're just gonna spice things up a little bit what are you looking for in a guy um i'd say a guy who's smart yeah. like an associate's degree smart i have a master's <laughs> degree what is what if he's a master of art <laughs> no he's well over six feet tall what if he's like five ten with an average <laughs> little also he's not in his soft guy era that's well, everybody likes to be treated like a princess even kings he doesn't have to make a lot of money but i prefer he makes over 300k like every 2000 days <laughs> every year yeah i can't give you any of 
these things. No, for eating at IHOP. What? Your ex never got you IHOP? Well, my ex had an in-home chef. So. <laughs> Did your ex have a hairline? The no. answer's no. He didn't. He didn't have top and bottom <laughs> lashes either. Lower your tone and your standards when you're you talking, talking to me. How, how, so <laughs> let me just get this straight. You were going to give your worthless ex's jeans to your future children and make up for it with a chef? Shame on you. Excuse me? Yeah, your ex was six feet tall, but that means zilch without a beard. You want a son with no facial masculinity? His... And his eyebrows are thinner than yours, and you drew those on this morning. I talked so to him. So before me, you dated a guy that was going to give your future daughter no <laughs> lashes, no edges, thin brows, standing six feet tall, a bald son, and useless height because we both know he's not going to the NBA. Don't think of your future, think of your kid's future. Think of me, look at me, full brows, full beard, nice hairline, nice skin, I'm gorgeous. Don't you want that for your kids? You are handsome. Answer me, I do. Of course you do. Now, are you gonna let an IHOP lunch destroy that future? No. Mm. Good girl. I am your good girl. See, I don't have a master's degree, but I do have better genes than your chef owning ex-boyfriend, so. <laughs> Call me when you're ready for a better. Where you going? You doing, sir? I just wanna She'll take the time. I I'm not paying for this. See, these, some of these women out here say, I want a Ferrari. Okay, the next question would be, well, what steps are you going to take to get a Ferrari? And the answer comes back, I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be here. The Ferrari should just happen upon me because I said I want it. What? Good morning. I just went to Trader Joe's and I saw a beautiful man and I just wanted to share the frustrations of being a single woman at 26 years old because I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. Okay. I was walking through Trader Joe's and this guy, I was like, yo, he's kind of cute, whatever. I, you just notice attractive people sometimes. Right. And I was just sometimes. like, whatever. And I kept walking and then like we made eye contact and I just walked past him because what else was I going to do? I was going to mm -hmm. be like, oh, hi. Um, and then yes. I was standing in line, he was standing in a different line, and like I looked that way, and then he was looking at me. And so obviously I like immediately turned around to look the opposite way because <laughs> I'm just awkward like that. Mm. And then I like- Women give themselves space and allotment to be what they're asking men not to be. Hold eye contact, <laughs> but then she's not holding eye contact. Wanted to get one more little peek, and he was talking on the phone and he had a ring on his finger, Boom. which great. I love Boom. that. I love marriage. No, <laughs> like, you don't. I love that for everybody else. I am very extremely single, which I also love. I love being single right now because I'm still trying to know myself, Really, but don't sound it's like just it. frustrating because it feels like a lot of the really attractive people that I'm attracted to mm -hmm. are already married. But then I started thinking <sighs> and I was like, you know what? There is actually a correlation here because you know how sometimes you'll meet a guy and he's like, he's cute, but like us as women see the potential and like we know how to better things because that's just what a nurturing womanly soul does, I guess. Right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like crazy today but i feel like the reason that these men are so attractive is because they have a wife that tells them you should probably cut your hair like this you should not wear those clothes anymore you need to wear these kind of clothes and then they like make this man beautiful and then the no some men just know how to do that yeah you've got a point but some men already know how to do that that's why they got their woman these men one, if you're just dating them, then they just they they think that they glowed up and they can do better than you. Mm -hmm. And two, He's if you're married to them, they still just be walking around with this confidence now that you gave them. No, anyway, no. not all men are like this. This man was probably a nice man, and I really like to think I'll turn the best this video of people, off. But yeah, as soon as I saw the ring, I was like immediately uninterested. But I would hope so. It's just frustrating sometimes <laughs> because you're like, oh my goodness, like maybe this is my time to meet this man in the grocery store. And then, <laughs> boom. No, it's, it's really not. Drop a it's bomb not. on you. But I'm waiting on the right one. God will send him to me one day. And right. if not, I will still fulfill my purpose of being a foster parent one day. And Good I'll just you. do it alone. And that's fine. Good so. For you. 
I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I had a great Sunday so far. I went to church, I went to Trader Joe's, and now I'm gonna hang out with my grandma, so. Good for you, man. Have a great Sunday. Hope you're enjoying that life. Uh, kids, uh, especially foster kids, need a parent, somebody that actually cares for them and not just a paycheck, right? Uh, sounds like what men want, <laughs> most men. Anyway, uh, so hopefully you do find somebody that isn't married and when you find somebody that's married, hopefully you leave them alone like you're asking men to do. Be a good upstanding citizen. Uh, but yeah, hopefully <laughs> everything works out for you and um, for all of these single women who are looking for a man. Uh, once again, check your standards. Are they comparable? You know, there's a thing in real, real estate called comps. You know, you go in and essentially what other, some of these women are doing is they're saying, well, my home is worth a million dollars. None of these homes in this neighborhood sell for over over like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, but I did this and I did that and I did this. Great. But the most your house can sell for in this neighborhood is maybe five hundred and fifty well, I'm just going to stay here on the market. You are, and you're going to stay here and you're going to become old and decrepit. Weeds are going to be overgrown. Grass is going to be overgrown and your house is going to deteriorate versus giving it to somebody that can actually value it and take care of it. Well, I feel like I'm settling. You're not settling. You're well within your range because that's what the area says, but that's too much logic. So I'm going to leave that alone. Anyway, that's my opinion <laughs> into the next video. I'm out.